Munich, German, München, MNCN, listen, Austro Bavarian, Minga, M is the capital and most populous city of the second most populous German federal state of Bavaria, and, with a population of around 1.5 million, it is the third largest city of Germany after Berlin and Hamburg, as well as the twelfth largest city in the European Union. The city's metropolitan region is home to six million people. Straddling the banks of the river Isar a tributary of the Danube north of the Bavarian Alps, it is the seat of the Bavarian administrative region of Upper Bavaria, while being the most densely populated municipality in Germany 4,500 people per square kilometer. Munich is the second largest city in the Bavarian dialect area, after the Austrian capital of Vienna. The city is a major center of art, technology, finance, publishing, culture, innovation, education, business, and tourism in Germany and Europe and enjoys a very high standard and quality of living, reaching first in Germany and third worldwide according to the 2018 Mercer survey, and being rated the world's most livable city by the Monocle's Quality of Life Survey 2018. According to the Globalization and World Rankings Research Institute, Munich is considered an alpha world city. As of 2015, the name of the city is derived from the Old, Middle High German term Munichen, meaning, by the monks. It derives from the monks of the Benedictine order, who ran a monastery at the place that was later to become the old town of Munich, hence the monk depicted on the city's coat of arms. Munich was first mentioned in 1158. Catholic Munich strongly resisted the Reformation and was a political point of divergence during the resulting Thirty Years' War, but remained physically untouched despite an occupation by the Protestant Swedes. Once Bavaria was established as a sovereign kingdom in 1806, it became a major European centre of arts, architecture, culture and science. In 1918, during the German Revolution, the ruling house of Wittelsbach, which had governed Bavaria since 1180, was forced to abdicate in Munich and a short-lived socialist republic was declared. In the 1920s, Munich became home to several political factions, among them the NSDAP. The first attempt of the Nazi movement to take over the German government in 1923 with the Beer Hall Putsch was stopped by the Bavarian police in Munich with gunfire. After the Nazis' rise to power, Munich was declared their capital of the movement. During World War II, Munich was heavily bombed and more than 50% of the entire city and up to 90% of the historic center were destroyed. After the end of post-war American occupation in 1949, there was a great increase in population and economic power during the years of Wirtschaftswunder, or economic miracle. Unlike many other German cities which were heavily bombed, Munich restored most of its traditional cityscape and hosted the 1972 Summer Olympics. The 1980s brought strong economic growth, high-tech industries and scientific institutions, and population growth. The city is home to major corporations like BMW, Siemens, Mann, Lind, Allianz and Muniker. Munich is home to many universities, museums and theaters. Its numerous architectural attractions, sports events, exhibitions and its annual Oktoberfest attract considerable tourism. Munich is one of the most prosperous and fastest growing cities in Germany. It is a top-ranked destination for migration and expatriate location. Munich hosts more than 530,000 people of foreign background, making up 37.7% of its population. History Topic: <inaudible> 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 Origin as medieval town The first known settlement in the area was of Benedictine monks on the Salt Road. The foundation date is considered the year 1158, the date the city was first mentioned in a document. The document was signed in Augsburg. By then, the Guelph Henry the Lion, Duke of Saxony and Bavaria, had built a toll bridge over the river Isar next to the Monk settlement and on the Salt Route. In 1175, Munich received city status and fortification. In 1180, with the trial of Henry the Lion, Otto I Wittelsbach became Duke of Bavaria, and Munich was handed to the Bishop of Freising, Wittelsbach's heirs. The Wittelsbach dynasty ruled Bavaria until 1918. In 1240, Munich was transferred to Otto II Wittelsbach, and in 1255, when the Duchy of Bavaria was split in two, Munich became the ducal residence of Upper Bavaria. Duke Louis IV, a native of Munich, was elected German king in 1314 and crowned as Holy Roman Emperor in 1328. 
He strengthened the city's position by granting it the salt monopoly, thus assuring it of additional income. In the late 15th century, Munich underwent a revival of Gothic arts, the old town hall was enlarged, and Munich's largest Gothic church, the Frauenkirche, now a cathedral, was constructed in only 20 years, starting in 1468. <laughs> Capital of reunited Bavaria When Bavaria was reunited in 1506, Munich became its capital. The arts and politics became increasingly influenced by the court see Orlando di Lasso and Heinrich Schütz. During the 16th century, Munich was a center of the German Counter-Reformation, and also of Renaissance arts. Duke Wilhelm V commissioned the Jesuit Michaelskirche, which became a center for the Counter-Reformation, and also built the Hofbräuhaus for brewing brown beer in 1589. The Catholic League was founded in Munich in 1609. In 1623, during the Thirty Years' War, Munich became electoral residence when Maximilian I, Duke of Bavaria was invested with the electoral dignity, but in 1632 the city was occupied by Gustav II Adolf of Sweden. When the bubonic plague broke out in 1634 and 1635, about one-third of the population died. Under the regency of the Bavarian electors, Munich was an important center of Baroque life, but also had to suffer under Habsburg occupations in 1704 and 1742. In 1806, the city became the capital of the new Kingdom of Bavaria, with the state's parliament the Landtag and the new Archdiocese of Munich and Freising being located in the city. Twenty years later, Landshut University was moved to Munich. Many of the city's finest buildings belong to this period and were built under the first three Bavarian kings. Especially Ludwig I rendered outstanding services to Munich's status as a center of the arts, attracting numerous artists and enhancing the city's architectural substance with grand boulevards and buildings. On the other hand, Ludwig II, known the world over as the fairy tale king, was mostly aloof from his capital and focused more on his fanciful castles in the Bavarian countryside. Nevertheless, his patronage of Richard Wagner secured his posthumous reputation, as do his castles, which still generate significant tourist income for Bavaria. Later, Prince Regent Luitpold's years as regent were marked by tremendous artistic and cultural activity in Munich, enhancing its status as a cultural force of global importance see Franz von Stuck and Der Blau Reiter. World War I to World War II Following the outbreak of World War I in 1914, life in Munich became very difficult, as the Allied blockade of Germany led to food and fuel shortages. During French air raids in 1916, three bombs fell on Munich. After World War I, the city was at the center of substantial political unrest. In November 1918 on the eve of German Revolution, Ludwig III and his family fled the city. After the murder of the first Republican premier of Bavaria Kurt Eisner in February 1919 by Anton Graf von Arco auf Valley, the Bavarian Soviet Republic was proclaimed. When communists took power, Lenin, who had lived in Munich some years before, sent a congratulatory telegram, but the Soviet Republic was ended on 3 May 1919 by the Freikorps. While the Republican government had been restored, Munich became a hotbed of extremist politics, among which Adolf Hitler and the National Socialists soon rose to prominence. In 1923, Adolf Hitler and his supporters, who were concentrated in Munich, staged the Beer Hall Putsch, an attempt to overthrow the Weimar Republic and seize power. The revolt failed, resulting in Hitler's arrest and the temporary crippling of the Nazi Party NSDAP. The city again became important to the Nazis when they took power in Germany in 1933. The party created its first concentration camp at Dachau, 16 kilometers (9.9 .9 miles) northwest of the city. Because of its importance to the rise of National Socialism, Munich was referred to as the Hauptstadt der Bewegung, capital of the movement. The NSDAP headquarters were in Munich, and many Führerbauten, Führer buildings were built around the Königsplatz, some of which still survive. The city is known as the site of the culmination of the policy of appeasement by Britain and France leading up to World War II. It was in Munich that British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain assented to the annexation of Czechoslovakia's Sudetenland region into Greater Germany in the hopes of sating the desires of Hitler's Third Reich. 
Munich was the base of the White Rose, a student resistance movement from June 1942 to February 1943. The core members were arrested and executed following a distribution of leaflets in Munich University by Hans and Sophie Scholl. The city was heavily damaged by Allied bombing during World War II by 71 air raids over five years. Post-war After U.S. occupation in 1945, Munich was completely rebuilt following a meticulous plan, which preserved its pre-war street grid. In 1957, Munich's population surpassed one million. The city continued to play a highly significant role in the German economy, politics and culture, giving rise to its nickname Heimlich Hopstadt, secret capital, in the decades after World War II. Munich was the site of the 1972 Summer Olympics, during which Israeli athletes were assassinated by Palestinian Fedayeen in the Munich massacre, when gunmen from the Palestinian Black September group took hostage members of the Israeli Olympic team. Most Munich residents enjoy a high quality of life. Mercer HR Consulting consistently rates the city among the top 10 cities with the highest quality of life worldwide. A 2011 survey ranked Munich as fourth. The same company also ranks Munich as the 39th most expensive in the world and most expensive major city in Germany. Munich enjoys a thriving economy, driven by the information technology, biotechnology, and publishing sectors. Environmental pollution is low, although as of 2006 the city council is concerned about levels of particulate matter PM, especially along the city's major thoroughfares. Since the enactment of EU legislation concerning the concentration of particulate in the air, environmental groups such as Greenpeace have staged large protest rallies to urge the city council and the state government to take a harder stance on pollution. Today, the crime rate is low compared with other large German cities, such as Hamburg or Berlin. For its high quality of life and safety, the city has been nicknamed Toytown among the English-speaking residents. German inhabitants call it Millionendorf an expression which means, village of a million people. Due to the high standard of living in and the thriving economy of the city and the region, there was an influx of people and Munich's population surpassed 1.5 million by June 2015, an increase of more than 20% in 10 years. Geography <laughs> 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 Topic. Topography Munich lies on the elevated plains of Upper Bavaria, about 50 kilometers 31 miles north of the northern edge of the Alps, at an altitude of about 520 meters 1,706 feet ASL. The local rivers are the Isar and the Worm. Munich is situated in the northern Alpine foreland. The northern part of this sandy plateau includes a highly fertile flint area which is no longer affected by the folding processes found in the Alps, while the southern part is covered with Moranich hills. Between these are fields of fluvio-glacial outwash, such as around Munich. Wherever these deposits get thinner, the ground water can permeate the gravel surface and flood the area, leading to marshes as in the north of Munich. Topic. Climate. Munich's city climate lies between the humid continental climate Köppen classification, DFB, and the oceanic climate Köppen classification, CFB. The city center lies between both climates, while the airport of Munich has a humid continental climate. The warmest month, on average, is July. The coolest is January. Showers and thunderstorms bring the highest average monthly precipitation in late spring and throughout the summer. The most precipitation occurs in June, on average. Winter tends to have less precipitation, the least in February. The higher elevation and proximity to the Alps cause the city to have more rain and snow than many other parts of Germany. The Alps affect the city's climate in other ways too, for example, the warm downhill wind from the Alps wind, which can raise temperatures sharply within a few hours even in the winter. Being at the center of Europe, Munich is subject to many climatic influences, so that weather conditions there are more variable than in other European cities, especially those further west and south of the Alps. 
At Munich's official weather station, the highest and lowest temperatures ever measured are 37 degrees Celsius (99 degrees Fahrenheit) on the 13th of August 2003 and -31.6 degrees Celsius (-24.9 degrees Fahrenheit) on the 12th of February 1929. Topic: Demographics. From only 24,000 inhabitants in 1700, the city population doubled about every 30 years. It was 100,000 in 1852, 250,000 in 1883 and 500,000 in 1901. Since then, Munich has become Germany's third largest city. In 1933, 840,901 inhabitants were counted, and in 1957 over 1 million. Immigration In July 2017, Munich had 1.42 million inhabitants, 421,832 foreign nationals resided in the city as of 31 December 2017 with 50.7% of these residents being citizens of EU member states, and 25.2% citizens in European states not in the EU including Russia and Turkey. The largest groups of foreign nationals were Turks 39,204, Croats 33,177, Italians 27,340, Greeks 27,117, Poles 27,945, Austrians 21,944, and Romanians 18,085. The largest foreign resident groups by 31.12. 2017. Religion About 45% of Munich's residents are not affiliated with any religious group, this ratio represents the fastest growing segment of the population. As in the rest of Germany, the Roman Catholic and Protestant churches have experienced a continuous decline in membership. As of 31 December 2017, 31.8% of the city's inhabitants were Roman Catholic, 11.4% Protestant, 0.3% Jewish, and 3.6% were members of an Orthodox Church Eastern Orthodox or Oriental Orthodox. About 1% adhere to other Christian denominations. There is also a small Old Catholic parish and an English-speaking parish of the Episcopal Church in the city. Politics Munich's current mayor is Dieter Reiter of the Social Democratic Party of Germany. Munich has been governed by the SPD for all but six years since 1948. This is atypical because Bavaria, and particularly southern Bavaria, has long been identified with conservative politics, with the Christian Social Union gaining absolute majorities among the Bavarian electorate in many elections at the communal, state, and federal levels, and leading the Bavarian state government for all but three years since 1946. Bavaria's second most populous city, Nuremberg, is also one of the very few Bavarian cities governed by an SPD-led coalition. As the capital of the Free State of Bavaria, Munich is an important political center in Germany and the seat of the Bavarian State Parliament, the Staatskanzlei, the State Chancellery, and of all state departments. Several national and international authorities are located in Munich, including the Federal Finance Court of Germany and the European Patent Office. Topic: <inaudible> Subdivisions. <inaudible> <inaudible> Since the administrative reform in 1992, Munich is divided into 25 boroughs or Stadtbezirk, which themselves consist of sometimes quite distinct smaller quarters. Alec Untermenzing 23, Altstadt Lahel 1, Abing Lockhausen Langweed 22, Ohadhausen 5, Bergam Lame 14, Bogenhausen 13, Feldmaching Hazenbergel 24, Hattern 20, Lame 25, Ludwigsvorstadt Isarvorstadt 2, Maxvorstadt 3, Milbertschofen am Hart 11, Musach 10, Neuhausen Nymphenburg 9, Obergiesing 17, Pawing Obermenzing 21, Reimersdorf Perlich 16, Schwabing Freiman 12, 
Schwabing West 4, Schwanthalerhohe 8, Sendeling 6, Sendeling West Park 7, Thalkirchen Obersendeling Forstenried Fürstenried Salm 19, Trudering Riem 15, and Untergiesing Harlaching 18. Topic: Architecture. The city has an eclectic mix of historic and modern architecture, because historic buildings destroyed in World War II were reconstructed, and new landmarks were built. A survey by the Society's Center for Sustainable Destinations for the National Geographic Traveler chose over 100 historic destinations around the world and ranked Munich 30th. History At the center of the city is the Marienplatz, a large open square named after the Mariensaal, a Marian column in its center, with the Old and the New Town Hall. Its tower contains the Rathaus Glockenspiel. Three gates of the demolished medieval fortification survive, the Isartor in the east, the Sendelinger Tor in the south and the Karlstor in the west of the inner city. The Karlstor leads up to the Stachys, a grand square dominated by the Justispalast Palace of Justice and a fountain. The Peterskirch close to Marienplatz is the oldest church of the inner city. It was first built during the Romanesque period, and was the focus of the early monastic settlement in Munich before the city's official foundation in 1158. Nearby St. Peter the Gothic Hall Church Heiligeiskirch the Church of the Holy Spirit was converted to Baroque style from 1724 onwards and looks down upon the Vichelianmark, the most popular market of Munich. The Frauenkirche is the best known building in the city centre and serves as the cathedral for the Catholic Archdiocese of Munich and Freising. The nearby Michaelskirche is the largest Renaissance church north of the Alps, while the Theatinerkirche is a basilica in Italianate High Baroque, which had a major influence on southern German Baroque architecture. Its dome dominates the Odeonsplatz. Other Baroque churches in the inner city include the Burgersakirche, the Dreifaltigkeitskirche and the St. Anna Damensiftskirche. The Assamkirche was endowed and built by the brothers Assam, pioneering artists of the Rococo period. The large residence palace complex begun in 1385 on the edge of Munich's Old Town, Germany's largest urban palace, ranks among Europe's most significant museums of interior decoration. Having undergone several extensions, it contains also the treasury and the splendid Rococo Cuvilliers Theatre. Next door to the residence the neoclassical opera, the National Theatre was erected. Among the Baroque and neoclassical mansions which still exist in Munich are the Palais Porsche, the Palais Praising, the Palais Holstein and the Prinz Karl Palais. All mansions are situated close to the residence, same as the Althof, a medieval castle and first residence of the Wittelsbach Dukes in Munich. Lahel, a middle-class quarter east of the Altstadt, is characterized by countless well-preserved and in parts excellently reconstructed townhouses, giving a thorough impression of the old Munich outside of the main tourist routes. The St. Anna im Lahel is the first Rococo church in Bavaria. St. Lucas is the largest Protestant church in Munich. <laughs> <laughs> Royal avenues and squares Four grand royal avenues of the 19th century with official buildings connect Munich's inner city with its then suburbs. The neoclassical Briener Strasse, starting at Odeonsplatz on the northern fringe of the old town close to the residence, runs from east to west and opens into the impressive Königsplatz, designed with the Doric propylene, the Ionic Glyptothek, and the Corinthian State Museum of Classical Art. Behind it, St. Boniface's Abbey was erected. The area around Königsplatz is home to the Kunsterial, Munich's gallery and museum quarter, as described below. Ludwigstrasse also begins at Odeonsplatz and runs from south to north, skirting the Ludwig Maximilians Universität, the St. Louis Church, the Bavarian State Library and numerous state ministries and palaces. The southern part of the avenue was constructed in Italian Renaissance style, while the north is strongly influenced by Italian Romanesque architecture. The Sieges Tor Gate of Victory sits at the northern end of Ludwigstrasse, where the latter passes over into Leopoldstrasse and the district of Schwabing begins. The neo-Gothic Maximilianstrasse starts at Max Joseph Platz, where the Residenz and the National Theatre are situated, and runs from west to east. 
The avenue is framed by elaborately structured neo-Gothic buildings which house, among others, the Schauspielhaus, the building of the district government of Upper Bavaria and the Museum of Ethnology. After crossing the river Isar, the avenue circles the Maximilianium, which houses the state parliament. The western portion of Maximilian Strasse is known for its designer shops, luxury boutiques, jewelry stores, and one of Munich's foremost five-star hotels, the Hotel Vier Jarezaden. Prinzregentenstrasse runs parallel to Maximilian Strasse and begins at Prinz Karl Palais. Many museums are on the avenue, such as the Haus der Kunst, the Bavarian National Museum and the Schack Gallery. The avenue crosses the Isar and circles the Friedensengel Monument, then passing the Villa Stuck and Hitler's old apartment. The Prinzehententheater is at Prinzregentenplatz further to the east. Other boroughs In Schwabing and Maxvorstadt, many beautiful streets with continuous rows of Grundertzeit buildings can be found. Rows of elegant town houses and spectacular urban palais in many colors, often elaborately decorated with ornamental details on their facades, make up large parts of the areas west of Leopoldstrasse Schwabing's main shopping street, while in the eastern areas between Leopoldstrasse and Englischer Garten similar buildings alternate with almost rural-looking houses and whimsical mini-castles, often decorated with small towers. Numerous tiny alleys and shady lanes connect the larger streets and little plazas of the area, conveying the legendary artists' quarters flair and atmosphere convincingly like it was at the turn of the 20th century. The wealthy district of Bogenhausen in the east of Munich is another little-known area at least among tourists rich in extravagant architecture, especially around Prinzregentenstrasse. One of Bogenhausen's most beautiful buildings is Villa Stuck, famed residence of painter Franz von Stuck. Two large Baroque palaces in Nymphenburg and Oberschleisheim are reminders of Bavaria's royal past. Schloss Nymphenburg, Nymphenburg Palace, some 6 kilometers 4 miles northwest of the city center, is surrounded by an impressive park and is considered to be one of Europe's most beautiful royal residences. 2 kilometers 1 mile northwest of Nymphenburg Palace is Schloss Blutenberg, Blutenberg Castle, an old ducal country seat with a late Gothic palace church. Schloss Fürstenried, Fürstenried Palace, a Baroque palace of similar structure to Nymphenburg but of much smaller size, was erected around the same time in the southwest of Munich. The second large Baroque residence is Schloss Schleisheim, Schleisheim Palace, located in the suburb of Oberschleisheim, a palace complex encompassing three separate residences: Altes Schloss Schleisheim, the old palace; Neues Schloss Schleisheim, the new palace; and Schloss Lustheim, Lustheim Palace. Most parts of the palace complex serve as museums and art galleries. Deutsches Museum's Flugwerft Schleisheim Flight Exhibition Center is located nearby, on the Schleisheim Special Landing Field. The Bavaria statue before the neoclassical Rumischale is a monumental, bronze sand cast 19th century statue at the Ressienwies. The Grunwald Castle is the only medieval castle in the Munich area which still exists. St. Michael in Berg am Lay might be the most remarkable church in the suburbs. Another church of Johann Michael Fischer is St. George in Bogenhausen. Most of the boroughs have parish churches which originate from the Middle Ages like the most famous church of pilgrimage in Munich St. Mary in Reimersdorf. The oldest church within the city borders is Heilig Cruz in Frotmaning next to the Allianz Arena, known for its Romanesque fresco. Especially in its suburbs, Munich features a wide and diverse array of modern architecture, although strict culturally sensitive height limitations for buildings have limited the construction of skyscrapers to avoid a loss of views to the distant Bavarian Alps. Most high-rise buildings are clustered at the northern edge of Munich in the skyline, like the Hypo House, the Arabella High-Rise Building, the Highlight Towers, Uptown Munich, Munchner Tor and the BMW headquarters next to the Olympic Park. Several other high-rise buildings are located near the city center and on the Siemens campus in southern Munich. A landmark of modern Munich is also the architecture of the sports stadiums as described below. In Fassongarten is the former Magra Kasern, a former U.S. Army base, near Stadelheim Prison. <laughs> Parks Munich is a densely built city but still offers numerous public parks. 
The Englisher Garten, close to the city centre and covering an area of 3.7 square kilometres 1.4 square miles is larger than Central Park in New York City, is one of the world's largest urban public parks. It contains a naturist nudist area, numerous bicycle and jogging tracks as well as bridle paths. It is considered the green lung of Munich and one of the city's best-loved features. It was designed and laid out by Benjamin Thompson, Count of Rumford, for both pleasure and as a work area for the city's vagrants and homeless. Nowadays it is entirely a park, its southern half being dominated by wide and extremely well-kept open areas, hills, monuments and beach-like stretches along the streams Eisbach and Schwabinger Bach, which get crowded in summer. In contrast, its less frequented northern part is much more quiet, idyllic and natural seeming, at times resembling a natural preserve more than an urban public park. It has lots of old trees, thick undergrowth, winding streams, hidden meadows and is pervaded by numerous romantic pathways. Multiple beer gardens can be found in both parts of the Englisher Garden, the most well known being located at the Chinese Pagoda. Other large green spaces are the modern Olympia Park, West Park, and the parks of Nymphenburg Palace with the Botanischer Garten München Nymphenburg to the north, and Schleisheim Palace. The city's oldest park is the Hofgarten, near the Residenz, dating back to the 16th century. Best known for the largest beer garden in town is the former Royal Hirsch Garten, founded in 1780 for deer, which still live there. The city's zoo is the Tierpark Hellebrunn near the Flotcher Island in the Isar in the south of the city. Another notable park is Ostpark located in the Reimersdorf Perlich borough which also houses the Michaelibad, the largest water park in Munich. Topic: Sports. Topic: Football. Munich is home to several professional football teams including Bayern Munich, Germany's most successful club and a multiple UEFA Champions League winner. Other notable clubs include 1860 Munich, who were long time their rivals on a somewhat equal footing, but currently play in the 3rd Division 3. Liga along with another former Bundesliga club SPVGG Unterhaching. Basketball. FC Bayern Munich basketball is currently playing in the Beko Basket Bundesliga. The city hosted the final stages of the FIBA Eurobasket 1993, where the German national basketball team won the gold medal. <laughs> Ice hockey The city's ice hockey club is EHC Munich. Topic: Olympics. Munich hosted the 1972 Summer Olympics. The Munich massacre took place in the Olympic Village. It was one of the host cities for the 2006 Football World Cup, which was not held in Munich's Olympic Stadium, but in a new football-specific stadium, the Allianz Arena. Munich bid to host the 2018 Winter Olympic Games, but lost to Pyeongchang. In September 2011 the DOSB President Thomas Bach confirmed that Munich would bid again for the Winter Olympics in the future. Road running Regular annual road running events in Munich are the Munich Marathon in October, the Stadtlauf end of June, the company run B2 run in July, the New Year's run on 31 December, the Spartan Race Sprint, the Olympia Am Crosslauf and the Bestzeiten Marathon. Swimming Public sporting facilities in Munich include 10 indoor swimming pools and 8 outdoor swimming pools, which are operated by the Munich City Utilities SWM communal company. Popular indoor swimming pools include the Olympia Schwimmhalle of the 1972 Summer Olympics, the Wave Pool Cozimowellenbad, as well as the Müllersches Volksbad which was built in 1901. Further, swimming within Munich city limits is also possible in several artificial lakes such as for example the Reamer Sea or the Langweeder Lake District. <inaudible> River surfing 
Munich has a reputation as a surfing hotspot, offering the world's best known river surfing spot, the Eisbach Wave, which is located at the southern edge of the Englischer Garten Park and used by surfers day and night and throughout the year. Half a kilometer down the river, there is a second, easier wave for beginners, the so called Kleine Eisbachwell. Two further surf spots within the city are located along the river Isar, the wave in the Floland Channel and a wave downstream of the Wittelsbach-Herbrick Bridge. Culture Language <culture> 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 The Bavarian dialects are spoken in and around Munich, with its variety West Middle Bavarian or Old Bavarian West Middlebarish, Altbarish. Austro-Bavarian has no official status by the Bavarian authorities or local government, yet is recognized by the SIL and has its own ISO 639 code. Museums <inaudible> 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 The Deutsches Museum or German Museum, located on an island in the river Isar, is the largest and one of the oldest science museums in the world. Three redundant exhibition buildings that are under a protection order were converted to house the Verkehrsmuseum, which houses the land transport collections of the Deutsches Museum. Deutsches Museum's Flugwerft Schleißheim Flight Exhibition Center is located nearby, on the Schleißheim Special Landing Field. Several non-centralized museums many of those are public collections at Ludwig Maximilians Universität show the expanded state collections of paleontology, geology, mineralogy, zoology, botany and anthropology. The city has several important art galleries, most of which can be found in the Kunsterial, including the Alt Pinakothek, the Neue Pinakothek, the Pinakothek der Moderne and the Museum Brandhorst. The Alt Pinakothek contains a treasure trove of the works of European masters between the 14th and 18th centuries. The collection reflects the eclectic tastes of the Wittelsbachs over four centuries, and is sorted by schools over two floors. Major displays include Albrecht Dürer's Christ-like self-portrait 1500, his four apostles, Raphael's paintings The Canigiani Holy Family and Madonna Tempi as well as Peter Paul Rubens' Large Judgment Day. The gallery houses one of the world's most comprehensive Rubens collections. The Lindbachhaus houses works by the group of Munich-based modernist artists known as Der Blau Reiter, the Blue Reiter. An important collection of Greek and Roman art is held in the Glyptothek and the Staatliche Antikensammlung State Antiquities Collection. King Ludwig I managed to acquire such famous pieces as the Medusa Rondonini, the Barberini Thon and figures from the Temple of Aphaea on Aegina for the Glyptothek. Another important museum in the Kunsterial is the Egyptian Museum. The Gothic Morris dancers of Erasmus Grasser are exhibited in the Munich City Museum in the old Gothic Arsenal building in the inner city. Another area for the arts next to the Kunsterial is the Lahel Quarter between the Old Town and the River Isar. The Museum Five Continents in Maximilianstrasse is the second largest collection in Germany of artifacts and objects from outside Europe, while the Bavarian National Museum and the adjoining Bavarian State Archaeological Collection in Prinzregentenstrasse rank among Europe's major art and cultural history museums. The nearby Schack Gallery is an important gallery of German 19th century paintings. The former Dachau concentration camp is 16 kilometers 10 miles outside the city. Topic: <laughs> Arts and Literature. Munich is a major European cultural center and has played host to many prominent composers including Orlando di Lasso, WA Mozart, Karl Maria von Weber, Richard Wagner, Gustav Mahler, Richard Strauss, Max Rieger and Karl Orff. With the Munich Biennale founded by Hans Werner Henz, and the A** Devantgarde Festival, the city still contributes to modern music theatre. Some of classical music's best-known pieces have been created in and around Munich by composers born in the area, for example Richard Strauss's tone poem also Sprach Zarathustra or Karl Orff's Carmina Burana. At the National Theatre several of Richard Wagner's operas were premiered under the patronage of Ludwig II of Bavaria. It is the home of the Bavarian State Opera and the Bavarian State Orchestra. Next door, the modern Residenz Theatre was erected in the building that had housed the Cuvilliers Theatre before World War II. Many operas were staged there, including the premiere of Mozart's Idomeneo in 1781. 
The Gartnerplatz Theater is a ballet and musical state theater while another opera house, the Prinzehententheater, has become the home of the Bavarian Theater Academy. The modern Gasteig Center houses the Munich Philharmonic Orchestra. The third orchestra in Munich with international importance is the Bavarian Radio Symphony Orchestra. Its primary concert venue is the Herkulesaal in the former city royal residence, the Munich Residenz. Many important conductors have been attracted by the city's orchestras, including Felix Weingartner, Hans Fitzner, Hans Rosbo, Hans Napertsbusch, Sergiu Celebadachi, James Levine, Christian Thielmann, Lauren Mazel, Raphael Kubelik, Eugen Joachim, Sir Colin Davis, Maurice Janssens, Bruno Walter, Georg Solti, Zubin Mehta and Kent Nagano. A stage for shows, big events and musicals is the Deutsche Theater. It is Germany's largest theater for guest performances. Munich's contributions to modern popular music are often overlooked in favor of its strong association with classical music, but they are numerous. The city has had a strong music scene in the 1960s and 1970s, with many internationally renowned bands and musicians frequently performing in its clubs. Furthermore, Munich was the center of Krautrock in southern Germany, with many important bands such as Amon Duhl II, Embryo or Popol Vuh hailing from the city. In the 1970s, the Musicland Studios developed into one of the most prominent recording studios in the world, with bands such as the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple and Queen recording albums there. Munich also played a significant role in the development of electronic music, with genre pioneer Giorgio Moroder, who invented synth disco and electronic dance music, and Donna Summer, one of disco music's most important performers, both living and working in the city. In the late 1990s, Electroclash was substantially co-invented if not even invented in Munich, when DJ Hell introduced and assembled international pioneers of this musical genre through his international DJ Gigolo Records label here. Other examples of notable musicians and bands from Munich are Konstantin Wecker, Willy Astor, Spider Murphy Gang, Münchener Freiheit, Lou Bega, Megaherz, FSK, Color Hayes and Sportfreunde Stiller. Music is so important in the Bavarian capital that the city hall gives permissions every day to ten musicians for performing in the streets around Marienplatz. This is how performers such as Olga Kolodnaya and Alex Jakobowicz are entertaining the locals and the tourists every day. Next to the Bavarian Staatsschauspiel in the Residenz Theater, Residenz Theater the Munich Kammerspiel in the Schauspielhaus is one of the most important German-language theaters in the world. Since Gotthold Ephraim Lessing's premieres in 1775 many important writers have staged their plays in Munich such as Christian Friedrich Hebel, Henrik Ibsen and Hugo von Hofmannsthal. The city is known as the second largest publishing center in the world around 250 publishing houses have offices in the city, and many national and international publications are published in Munich, such as Arts in Munich, Laxmag and Prinz. At the turn of the 20th century, Munich, and especially its suburb of Schwabing, was the preeminent cultural metropolis of Germany. Its importance as a center for both literature and the fine arts was second to none in Europe, with numerous German and non-German artists moving there. For example, Wassily Kandinsky chose Munich over Paris to study at the Akademie der Bildenden Kunste München, and, along with many other painters and writers living in Schwabing at that time, had a profound influence on modern art. Prominent literary figures worked in Munich especially during the final decades of the Kingdom of Bavaria, the so-called Prinzehentenzeit literally, Prince Regent's Time, under the reign of Luitpold, Prince Regent of Bavaria, a period often described as a cultural golden age for both Munich and Bavaria as a whole. Among them were luminaries such as Thomas Mann, Heinrich Mann, Paul Hayes, Rainer Maria Rilke, Ludwig Thoma, Fanny Zu Reventlo, Oskar Paniza, Gustav Meyerink, Max Halb, Eric Mussum and Frank Wedekind. For a short while, Vladimir Lenin lived in Schwabing, where he wrote and published his most important work, What is to be Done. Central to Schwabing's bohemian scene although they were actually often located in the nearby Maxvorstadt quarter were Kunstlerlokale artists' cafés like Café Stephanie or Kabaret Simple, whose liberal ways differed fundamentally from Munich's more traditional localities. The Simple, which survives to this day although with little relevance to the city's contemporary art scene, was named after Munich's famous anti-authoritarian satirical magazine Simplicissimus, founded in 1896 by Albert Langen and Thomas Theodor Heine, which quickly became an important organ of the Schwabinger Bohème. 
Its strikingly modern caricatures and biting satirical attacks on Wilhelmin German society were the result of countless of collaborative efforts by many of the best visual artists and writers from Munich and elsewhere. The period immediately before World War I saw continued economic and cultural prominence for the city. Thomas Mann wrote in his novella Gladius Dei about this period, München leuchtet, literally, Munich shone. Munich remained a center of cultural life during the Weimar period, with figures such as Lion Feuchtwanger, Bertolt Brecht, Peter Paul Althaus, Stefan George, Ricarda Hutch, Joachim Ringelnatz, Oskar Maria Graf, Annette Kolb, Ernst Toller, Hugo Ball and Klaus Mann adding to the already established big names. Karl Valentin was Germany's most important cabaret performer and comedian and is to this day well remembered and beloved as a cultural icon of his hometown. Between 1910 and 1940, he wrote and performed in many absurdist sketches and short films that were highly influential, earning him the nickname of Charlie Chaplin of Germany. Many of Valentin's works wouldn't be imaginable without his congenial female partner Liesel Karlstadt, who often played male characters to hilarious effect in their sketches. After World War II, Munich soon again became a focal point of the German literary scene and remains so to this day, with writers as diverse as Wolfgang Köppen, Eric Kastner, Eugen Roth, Alfred Andersch, Elfried Jelinek, Hans Magnus Enzensberger, Michael Ende, Franz Xaver Krotz, Gerhard Polt, John Vincent Palatine and Patrick Suskin calling the city their home. From the Gothic to the Baroque era, the fine arts were represented in Munich by artists like Erasmus Grasser, Jan Polak, Johann Baptist Straub, Ignaz Gunther, Hans Krumper, Ludwig von Schwanthaler, Cosmas Damien Assam, Egid Kieran Assam, Johann Baptist Zimmermann, Johann Michael Fischer and François de Cuvilliers. Munich had already become an important place for painters like Karl Rottmann, Lovis Corinth, Wilhelm von Kalbach, Karl Spitzweg, Franz von Lindbach, Franz von Stuck, Karl Piloty and Wilhelm Liebel when Der Blau Reiter the Blue Rider, a group of expressionist artists, was established in Munich in 1911. The city was home to the Blue Riders painters Paul Klee, Wassily Kandinsky, Alexei von Jalensky, Gabriele Munter, Franz Marc, August Mackey and Alfred Kubin. Kandinsky's first abstract painting was created in Schwabing. Munich was, and in some cases, still is, home to many of the most important authors of the new German cinema movement, including Rainer Werner Fassbinder, Werner Herzog, Edgar Reitz and Herbert Achternbisch. In 1971, the Filmverlag der Autoren was founded, cementing the city's role in the movement's history. Munich served as the location for many of Fassbinder's films, among them Ali, Fear Eats the Soul. The Hotel Deutsche Eich near Gartnerplatz was somewhat like a center of operations for Fassbinder and his clan of actors. New German cinema is considered by far the most important artistic movement in German cinema history since the era of German Expressionism in the 1920s. In 1919, the Bavaria Film Studios were founded, which developed into one of Europe's largest film studios. Directors like Alfred Hitchcock, Billy Wilder, Orson Welles, John Huston, Ingmar Bergman, Stanley Kubrick, Claude Chabrol, Fritz Umgelter, Rainer Werner Fassbinder, Wolfgang Peterson and Wim Wenders made films there. Among the internationally well-known films produced at the studios are The Pleasure Garden 1925 by Alfred Hitchcock, The Great Escape 1963 by John Sturgis, Paths of Glory 1957 by Stanley Kubrick, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory 1971 by Mel Stewart and both Das Boot 1981 and The Neverending Story 1984 by Wolfgang Peterson. Munich remains one of the centers of the German film and entertainment industry. Topic. Markets The Vichelianmarkt is Munich's most popular market for fresh food and delicatessen. A very old feature of Munich's Fasching carnival is the dance of the marked Frauen market women of the Vichelianmarkt in comical costumes. The Hour Dult is held three times a year on the square around Mariahilf Church and is one of Munich's oldest markets, well known for its hardware, trinkets and antiques. Three weeks before Christmas, the Christkindlmarkt opens at Marienplatz and other squares in the city, selling Christmas goods. Hofbräuhaus and Oktoberfest The Hofbräuhaus am Platzl, arguably the most famous beer hall worldwide, is located in the city center. 
It also operates the second largest tent at the Oktoberfest, one of Munich's most famous attractions. For two weeks, the Oktoberfest attracts millions of people visiting its beer tents, beer zelt, and fairground attractions. The Oktoberfest was first held on 12 October 1810 in honor of the marriage of Crown Prince Ludwig to Princess Therese of Saxe-Hildburghausen. The festivities were closed with a horse race and in the following years the horse races were continued and later developed into what is now known as the Oktoberfest. Despite its name, most of Oktoberfest occurs in September. It always finishes on the first Sunday in October unless the German national holiday on 3 October Tag der Deutschen Einheit, I. E. Day of German Unity is a Monday or Tuesday, then the Oktoberfest remains open for these days. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Culinary Specialities. The Munich cuisine contributes to the Bavarian cuisine. Münchner Weywurst white sausage was invented here in 1857. It is a Munich speciality. Traditionally eaten only before noon, a tradition dating to a time before refrigerators, these morsels are often served with sweet mustard and freshly baked pretzels. <laughs> Beers and breweries Munich is known for its breweries and the Weissbier or Weibier, Weizenbier, wheat beer is a speciality from Bavaria. Hellas, a pale lager with a translucent gold color is the most popular Munich beer today, although it's not old only introduced in 1895 and is the result of a change in beer tastes. Hellas has largely replaced Munich's dark beer, Dunkels, which gets its color from roasted malt. It was the typical beer in Munich in the 19th century, but it is now more of a speciality. Starkbier is the strongest Munich beer, with 6% to 9% alcohol content. It is dark amber in color and has a heavy malty taste. It is available and is sold particularly during the Lenten Starkbertzeit strong beer season, which begins on or before St. Joseph's Day the 19th of March. The beer served at Oktoberfest is a special type of Marzen beer with a higher alcohol content than regular Hellas. There are countless Wurzhauser traditional Bavarian ale houses, restaurants all over the city area, many of which also have small outside areas. Biergarten beer gardens are the most famous and popular fixtures of Munich's gastronomic landscape. They are central to the city's culture and serve as a kind of melting pot for members of all walks of life, for locals, expatriates and tourists alike. It is allowed to bring one's own food to a beer garden, however, it is forbidden to bring one's own drinks. There are many smaller beer gardens and around 20 major ones, providing at least 1,000 seats, with four of the most famous and popular in the Englischer Garten, Chinesischer Turm Munich's second-largest beer garden with 7,000 seats, Seehaus, Herschau and Almeister. Among locals, connoisseurs and well-informed tourists, Augustiner Keller, near Hauptbahnhof Central Station at Arnulfstrasse, is one of the most popular beer gardens in the city, since it is the only one in which Munich's most popular beer, Augustiner, is drawn from wooden barrels. Knockerberg, Hofbräukeller not to be confused with the Hofbräuhaus and Lohenbraukeller are other famous beer gardens. Hirschgarten is the largest beer garden in the world, with 8,000 seats. There are six main breweries in Munich, Augustiner Brau, Hacker Schor, Hofbräu, Lovenbräu, Polliner and Spaten Franziskaner Brau separate brands Spaten and Franziskaner, the latter of which mainly for Weissbier. Also much consumed, though not from Munich and thus without the right to have a tent at the Oktoberfest, are especially Tegensier and Schneider Weisse, the latter of which has a major beer hall in Munich just as the Munich breweries do. Smaller breweries are becoming more prevalent in Munich, such as Giesinger Brau. However, these breweries do not have tents at Oktoberfest. Topic: <inaudible> Circus. The Circus Krona based in Munich is one of the largest circuses in Europe. It was the first and still is one of only a few in Western Europe to also occupy a building of its own. Topic: <inaudible> Nightlife. <inaudible> Nightlife in Munich is located mostly in the city center Altstadt Lahel and the boroughs Maxvorstadt, Ludwigsvorstadt, Isarvorstadt, Ohedhausen and Schwabing. 
Between Sendelinger Tor and Maximiliansplatz lies the so-called Feierbanane party banana, a roughly banana-shaped unofficial party zone spanning 1.3 kilometers (0.8 miles) along Sonnenstrasse, characterized by a high concentration of clubs, bars, and restaurants. The Feierbanane has become the mainstream focus of Munich's nightlife and tends to become crowded, especially at weekends. It has also been the subject of some debate among city officials because of alcohol-related security issues and the party zone's general impact on local residents as well as daytime businesses. Ludwigsvorstadt Isarvorstad's two main quarters, Gartnerplatzviertel and Glockenbachviertel, are both considered decidedly less mainstream than most other nightlife hotspots in the city and are renowned for their many hip and laid-back bars and clubs as well as for being Munich's main centers of gay culture. On warm spring or summer nights, hundreds of young people gather at Gartnerplatz to relax, talk with friends and drink beer. Maxvorstadt has many smaller bars that are especially popular with university students, whereas Schwabing, once Munich's first and foremost party district with legendary clubs such as Big Apple, PN, Domicile, Hot Club, Piper Club, Tiffany, Germany's first large-scale disco blow-up and the underwater nightclub Yellow Submarine, as well as many bars such as Schwabinger 7 or Schwabinger Podium, has lost much of its nightlife activity in the last decades, mainly due to gentrification and the resulting high rents. It has become the city's most coveted and expensive residential district, attracting affluent citizens with little interest in partying. Since the mid-1990s, the Kunstpark Ost and its successor Cult Fabric, a former industrial complex that was converted to a large party area near München Ostbahnhof in Berg am Lame, hosted more than 30 clubs and was especially popular among younger people and residents of the metropolitan area surrounding Munich. The cult fabric was closed at the end of the year 2015 to convert the area into a residential and office area. Apart from the cult fabric and the smaller optimal work, there is a wide variety of establishments in the urban parts of nearby Heidhausen. Before the Kunstpark Ost, there had already been an accumulation of internationally known nightclubs in the remains of the abandoned former Munich Riem airport. Munich nightlife tends to change dramatically and quickly. Establishments open and close every year, and some survive only a few months, while others last many years. Beyond the already mentioned venues of the 1960s and 1970s, nightclubs with international recognition in recent history included Tanzlokal Gronwan, Atomic Café, Ultraschall, KW, Das Heiskraftwerk, Natraj Temple and Babalu Bar. From 1995 to 2001, Munich was also home to the Union Move, one of the largest technoparades in Germany. Munich has two directly connected gay quarters, which basically can be seen as one, Gartnerplatzviertel and Glockenbachviertel, both part of the Ludwigsvorstadt Isarvorstadt district. Freddie Mercury had an apartment near the Gartnerplatz and transsexual icon Romy Hogg had a club in the city centre for many years. Munich has more than 100 nightclubs and thousands of bars and restaurants within city limits. Some notable nightclubs are popular techno clubs are MMA Club, Mixed Munich Arts, Blitz Club, Harry Klein, Rote Zana, Bonwarter Thiel, Bob Beeman, Pimpernel, Charlie, and Palais. Popular mixed music clubs are Call Me Drella, Chord, Wanda Circus, Tin Holly, Backstage, Muffethale, Ampere, Pacha, P1, Minna Thiel, and the party ship Alt Utting. Some notable bars pubs are located all over the city are Charles Schumann's Cocktail Bar, Havana Club, Sensucht, Bar Central, KSAR, Holy Home, Eat the Rich, Negroni, Die Goldine Bar and BEI Auto a Bavarian-style pub. Education <inaudible> 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 Colleges and universities Munich is a leading location for science and research with a long list of Nobel Prize laureates from Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen in 1901 to Theodor Hanch in 2005. Munich has become a spiritual center already since the times of Emperor Louis IV when philosophers like Michael of Cesena, Marsilius of Padua and William of Ockham were protected at the emperor's court. The Ludwig Maximilian University LMU and the Technische Universität München two or TUM, were two of the first three German universities to be awarded the title Elite University by a selection committee composed of academics and members of the Ministries of Education and Research of the Federation and the German States Lander. 
Only the two Munich universities and the Technical University of Karlsruhe, now part of Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, have held this honor, and the implied greater chances of attracting research funds since the first evaluation round in 2006. Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich (LMU), founded in 1472 in Ingolstadt, moved to Munich in 1826. Technical University of Munich (TUM), founded in 1868. Akademie der Bildenden Künste München, founded in 1808. Bundeswehr University Munich, founded in 1973, located in Neubiberg. Deutsche Journalistenschule, founded in 1959. Bayerische Akademie für Auenwirtschaft, founded in 1989. Hochschule für Musik und Theater München, founded in 1830. International Max Planck Research School for Molecular and Cellular Life Sciences. International School of Management Katholisch Stiftungsforschungsschule München, founded in 1971 Munich Business School MBS, founded in 1991 Munich Intellectual Property Law Center MIPLC. Munich School of Philosophy, founded in 1925 in Pullock, moved to Munich in 1971 Munich School of Political Science Munich University of Applied Sciences founded in 1971 New European College, founded in 2014 Pioneerschule und Fachschule des Heers für Botechnik Ukrainian Free University, founded in 1921 from 1945 in Munich University of Television and Film Munich Hochschule für Fernsehen und Film, founded in 1966 Globe Business College Munich Topic. Primary and secondary schools Grundschule in Munich Grundschule in der Gebelstrasse Grund- und Mittelschule in der Hochstrasse Grundschule Fleurstrasse Grundschule in der Stunststrasse Ernst Reuter Grundschule Grundschule Gertrude Baumer – Strasse Grundschule in der Südlichen Aufartsali Gymnasiums in Munich Maria Theresia Gymnasium Gymnasium Max Joseph Stift Luitpol Gymnasium Edith Stein Gymnasium der Erzdiozese München und Freising Statisches Street Anna Gymnasium Wilhelms Gymnasium Statisches Lucen Gymnasium Wittelsbacher Gymnasium Realschule in Munich Stadt Fridjof Nansen Realschule Statisch Adelbert Stifter Realschule Maria Ward Maidchen Realschule, Statisch Ricarda Hutch Realschule, Isar Realschule München, Statisch Hermann Freib Realschule International Schools in Munich, Lycée Jean Renoir French School, Japanisch Internationale Schule München, Bavarian International School, Munich International School, European School Munich. Topic. Scientific research institutions Topic. Max Planck Society The Max Planck Society, an independent German non-profit research organization, has its administrative headquarters in Munich. The following institutes are located in the Munich area. Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics, Garching Max Planck Institute of Biochemistry, Martinsrud Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics, Garching Max Planck Institute for Foreign and International Social Law, München Max Planck Institute for Innovation and Competition, München Max Planck Institute of Neurobiology, Martinsrud Max Planck Institute for Ornithology, Andex Erling, Biological Rhythms and Behavior, Rodolfzel, Siewiesen, Reproductive Biology and Behavior. Max Planck Institute for Physics, Werner Heisenberg Institute, München. Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics, Garching, also in Greifswald. Max Planck Institute of Psychiatry, München. Max Planck Institute for Psychological Research, München, closed. Max Planck Institute of Quantum Optics, Garching Topic. Fraunhofer Society 
The Fraunhofer Society, the German non-profit research organization for applied research, has its headquarters in Munich. The following institutes are located in the Munich area. Applied and Integrated Security, AISEC Embedded Systems and Communication, ESC Modular Solid State Technologies, EMFT Building Physics, IBP Process Engineering and Packaging, IVV Other research institutes Botanische Staatssammlung München, a notable herbarium IFO Institute for Economic Research, Theoretical and Applied Research in Economics and Finance Dorner Institute European Southern Observatory Helmholtz Zentrum München Zoologische Staatssammlung München Economy Munich has the strongest economy of any German city and the lowest unemployment rate in June 2014 of any German city of more than a million people the others being Berlin, Hamburg and Cologne. The city is also the economic center of southern Germany. Munich topped the ranking of the magazine Capital in February 2005 for the economic prospects between 2002 and 2011 in 60 German cities. Munich is a financial center and a global city and holds the headquarters of many companies including more listed by the DAX than any other German city, as well as the German or European headquarters of many foreign companies such as McDonald's and Microsoft. Topic manufacturing Munich holds the headquarters of Siemens AG Electronics, BMW Car, Mann AG Truck Manufacturer, Engineering, Lind Gases and Rode and Schwartz Electronics. Among German cities with more than 500,000 inhabitants, purchasing power is highest in Munich 26,648 euros per inhabitant as of 2007. In 2006, Munich blue-collar workers enjoyed an average hourly wage of €18.62 ca. $20, the breakdown by cities proper not metropolitan areas of global 500 cities listed Munich in 8th position in 2009. Munich is also a center for biotechnology, software and other service industries. Munich is also the home of the headquarters of many other large companies such as the aircraft engine manufacturer MTU Aero Engines, the injection molding machine manufacturer Krauss Maffei, the camera and lighting manufacturer ARRI, the semiconductor firm Infineon Technologies headquartered in the suburban town of Neubiberg, lighting giant Osram, as well as the German or European headquarters of many foreign companies such as Microsoft. Topic. Finance Munich has significance as a financial center second only to Frankfurt, being home of Bank and the Bayerische Landesbank. It outranks Frankfurt though as home of insurance companies such as Allianz insurance and Munich Re, Re insurance. Topic. Media Munich is the largest publishing city in Europe and home to the Süddeutsche Zeitung, one of Germany's largest daily newspapers. The city is also the location of the programming headquarters of Germany's largest public broadcasting network, ARD, while the largest commercial network, Pro7 Sat1 Media AG, is headquartered in the suburb of Unterforing. The headquarters of the German branch of Random House, the world's largest publishing house, and of Berta Publishing Group are also in Munich. The Bavaria Film Studios are located in the suburb of Grunwald. They are one of Europe's biggest and most famous film production studios. Topic: <laughs> Top 10 largest companies in Munich 2016. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Transport. The trade fair transport logistic is held every two years at the Neue Messe München, Messe München International. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Munich International Airport. 
Franz Josef Strauss International Airport IATA, MUC, ICAO, EDDM, is the second largest airport in Germany and seventh largest in Europe after London Heathrow, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Frankfurt, Amsterdam, Madrid and Istanbul Atatürk. It is used by about 34 million passengers a year, and lies some 30 kilometers 19 miles northeast of the city centre. It replaced the smaller Munich Riem Airport in 1992. The airport can be reached by suburban train lines S8 from the east and S1 from the west of the city. From the main railway station the journey takes 40 to 45 minutes. An express train will be added that will cut down travel time to 20 to 25 minutes with limited stops on dedicated tracks. A magnetic levitation train called Transrapid, which was to have run at speeds of up to 400 km per hour 249 miles per hour from the central station to the airport in a travel time of 10 minutes, had been approved, but was cancelled in March 2008 because of cost escalation and after heavy protests. Lufthansa opened its second hub at the airport when Terminal 2 was opened in 2003. Other airports In 2008, the Bavarian state government granted a license to expand Oberpfaffenhofen Air Station located west of Munich, for commercial use. These plans were opposed by many residents in the Oberpfaffenhofen area as well as other branches of local government, including the city of Munich, which took the case to court. However, in October 2009, the permit allowing up to 9,725 business flights per year to depart from or land at Oberpfaffenhofen was confirmed by a regional judge. Despite being 110 kilometers (68 miles) from Munich, Memmingen Airport has been advertised as Airport Munich West. After 2005, passenger traffic of nearby Augsburg Airport was relocated to Munich Airport, leaving the Augsburg region of Bavaria without an air passenger airport within close reach. Topic: München Hauptbahnhof. München Hauptbahnhof is the main railway station located in the city center. The first Munich station was built about 800 meters to the west in 1839. A station at the current site was opened in 1849, and it has been rebuilt numerous times, including to replace the main station building, which was badly damaged during World War II. München Hauptbahnhof is one of the three long-distance stations in Munich, the others being München Ost to the east and München Pauing to the west. All three are connected to the public transport system and serve as transportation hubs. München Hauptbahnhof sees about 450,000 passengers a day, which puts it on par with other large stations in Germany, such as Hamburg Hauptbahnhof and Frankfurt Hauptbahnhof. It and München Ost are two of the 21 stations in Germany classified by Deutsche Bahn as a Category 1 station. The mainline station is a terminal station with 32 platforms. The subterranean S-Bahn with two platforms and U-Bahn stations with six platforms are through stations. ICE high-speed trains stop at Munich Pauing and Munich Hauptbahnhof only. Intercity and Eurocity trains to destinations east of Munich also stop at Munich East. Since 28 May 2006 Munich has been connected to Nuremberg via Ingolstadt by the 300 km per hour 186 miles per hour Nuremberg-Munich high-speed railway line. <laughs> Public transportation For its urban population of 2.6 million people, Munich and its closest suburbs have one of the most comprehensive network of public transport in the world, incorporating the Munich U-Bahn underground railway, the Munich S-Bahn suburban trains, trams and buses. The system is supervised by the Munich Transport and Tariff Association Münchner Verkehrs und Tariffverband GmbH. The Munich Tramway is the oldest existing public transportation system in the city, which has been in operation since 1876. Munich also has an extensive network of bus lines. The extensive network of subway and tram lines assist and complement pedestrian movement in the city centre. The 700 metres long Koffinger Strasse, which starts near the main train station, forms a pedestrian east-west spine that traverses almost the entire centre. Similarly, Wienstrasse leads off northwards to the Hofgarten. These major spines and many smaller streets cover an extensive area of the center that can be enjoyed on foot and bike. 
The transformation of the historic area into a pedestrian priority zone enables and invites walking and biking by making these active modes of transport comfortable, safe and enjoyable. These attributes result from applying the principle of filtered permeability, which selectively restricts the number of roads that run through the center. While certain streets are discontinuous for cars, they connect to a network of pedestrian and bike paths, which permeate the entire center. In addition, these paths go through public squares and open spaces increasing the enjoyment of the trip see image. The logic of filtering a mode of transport is fully expressed in a comprehensive model for laying out neighborhoods and districts, the fused grid. Munich public transportation statistics The average amount of time people spend commuting with public transit in Munich, for example to and from work, on a weekday is 56 minutes. 11% of public transit riders, ride for more than two hours every day. The average amount of time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 10 minutes, while 6% of riders wait for over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 9.2 km, while 21% travel for over 12 km in a single direction. <inaudible> <inaudible> individual transportation Munich is an integral part of the motorway network of southern Germany. Motorways from Stuttgart W, Nuremberg, Frankfurt and Berlin N, Degendorf and Passau E, Salzburg and Innsbruck SE, Garmisch-Partenkirchen S and Lindau SW terminate at Munich, allowing direct access to the different parts of Germany, Austria and Italy. Traffic, however, is often very heavy in and around Munich. Traffic jams are commonplace during rush hour as well as at the beginning and end of major holidays in Germany. There are few green waves, or roundabouts, and the city's prosperity often causes an abundance of obstructive construction sites. Other contributing factors are the extraordinarily high rates of car ownership per capita multiple times that of Berlin, the city's historically grown and largely preserved centralized urban structure, which leads to a very high concentration of traffic in specific areas, and sometimes poor planning for example bad traffic light synchronization and a less than ideal ring road. Cycling Cycling has a strong presence in the city and is recognized as a good alternative to motorized transport. The growing number of bicycle lanes are widely used throughout the year. Munich cyclists have a reputation for being quite daring or even careless, being frequently seen as a nuisance by drivers, especially when their numbers multiply in the warmer months. Cycle paths can be found alongside the majority of sidewalks and streets, although the newer and or renovated ones are much easier to tell apart from pavements than older ones. The cycle paths usually involve a longer route than by the road, as they are diverted around objects, and the presence of pedestrians can make them quite slow. A modern bike hire system is available within the area bounded by the Mittlerer Ring. Around Munich Topic: <inaudible> 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 Nearby towns The Munich agglomeration sprawls across the plain of the Alpine foothills comprising about 2.6 million inhabitants. Several smaller traditional Bavarian towns and cities like Dachau, Freising, Erding, Starnberg, Landshut and Moosburg are today part of the Greater Munich region, formed by Munich and the surrounding districts, making up the Munich metropolitan region, which has a population of about 6 million people. Recreation <inaudible> 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 South of Munich, there are numerous nearby freshwater lakes such as Lake Starnberg, Emmer Sea, Chiemsee, Walchen Sea, Kochel Sea, Tegen Sea, Schlier Sea, Sim Sea, Staffel Sea, Worth Sea, Kirch Sea and the Ostersee Easter Lakes, which are popular among the people of Munich for recreation, swimming and water sports and can be quickly reached by car and a few also by Munich's S-Bahn. International relations 
Munich is twinned with the following cities date of agreement shown in parentheses. Edinburgh, Scotland 1954. Verona, Italy 1960. Bordeaux, France 1964. Sapporo, Japan 1972. Cincinnati, Ohio, United States 1989. Kiev, Ukraine 1989. Harare, Zimbabwe 1996. Topic Famous people Topic <laughs> Born in Munich Topic <laughs> <laughs> Notable residents Topic <laughs> <laughs> See also Outline of Munich